Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Teacher. Hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you guys? Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Uh, well, as you can see, there's something wrong with the background and with my... my <laughs> let me fix it. I look like a pitufo. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know what happened. Let me see if I can change it or, or, or fix it. For some reason, I was having problems connecting today. I don't know why, but I was having problems. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Okay. We are ready. Isabel, hello. Uh, Hello, good evening. Gabriel, Christopher, hello, Isabel, Adriana, Antonio, and Hector. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> it's a pleasure for me to be here again. Thank you for joining. Today, we're going to continue practicing our English. And we're going to be taking a look at some uh, very, very important things. Very important things. Christian, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining. Let me get this ready. Let me get this ready. Give me a moment. It's ready. Well, some of you are running late. It's already four past uh, eight and just eight people are here. Uh, let me see who is not going to be available. I have, I was reading some messages and uh, I was trying to see your, the people that are not going to be available. Let me see. Okay, I got this one, this one, this one. Who's Frank? Frank and our, RL, RL, I don't know who that person is. This is R, RL only. <laughs> oh, Antonio is there. Okay, Antonio. That's okay. Alexander is this Francisco. That's Francisco, your name? No, right? No, it's Nelson. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Let me get the tennis list ready right now. Totally ready. Okay, let me take attendance, people. I know not everybody is here yet, but it's time to take attendance. Adriana Maria Turcios de Navarro. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Elivaldo is not here. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Hello, Christian. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Hello, Christopher. Thank you. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. No. Gabriel Beltran Perez. 
Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Hey, we didn't see you yesterday. What happened? Uh, yesterday I cannot connect because my work. Uh, okay. was tarde. Um, I came home late. Uh huh. For late, very late yesterday, teacher. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry <laughs> that you had to had to work. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. sometimes sometimes it's difficult. You know. Yes. <laughs> I completely understand. Let's never continue with the list. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Yes. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Good evening. Welcome again. What happened? Uh, <laughs> relax, teacher. I, uh, a little, a little six. <laughs> yes. You understand. How do you feel now? Oh, good, good. So bad, so good. <laughs> okay, a little bad, a little good. All right, all right. Okay, uh, we are glad that you are here again. Okay, I mean that you are speaking, that we can hear you, and it's good, it's good. Yes. Hold on, Saul Hiron Sanchez. Thank you. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Present. Yes, Holman, hello. Present. Lucy. Yes, Laura. Lu Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Roberto Carlos Hernández Car... Uh, sorry. Roberto Carlos Hernández Cruz. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay, very good. Let me see somebody says something in the, in the chat. Okay, yes, Antonio. Excellent. All right, guys. We're going to start and uh, well, I told you before that we have some uh, interesting, interesting things to practice or to deal with. And the first thing I want to show you is this. I want to show you the presentation. Okay, I am sharing the presentation. Do you see it? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank yes, you teacher, much. I see. Yes, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is this. Review time. What do you remember about indirect questions, people? What do you remember about this topic, this grammar topic? Indirect questions, tell me. Nobody? You don't remember? Anybody? Hello? You don't remember? Okay. Yeah, I... I I just remember uh, uh, continued with if can you please repeat because I, I, I could not hear you very well. I I, I just remember uh continue with if okay, okay. Yeah. You remember it. If is in the sentence, yes. Not in all of them, but if is there, okay? Yes, yes, that is something about, about indirect questions, yes. What else, what else? Tell me, what else do you remember about this? 
<clears throat> yes. Um, I remember, mm -hmm. do you know where is the map? Uh -huh. And do you know where the map is? Okay. Yes, we were talking, we were talking about the order of the question, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Which one was the correct one? Is already? Which one was correct? Do you know where the map is? Okay, yes, yes. Because do you know is the question? The indirect question doesn't have to follow the question structure. <clears throat> But let's take a look at it. Okay, look, uh, indirect questions are those types of questions that do not follow the question word order. Okay, so that means that with these indirect questions, we're not going to see auxiliaries or we're not going to see the, the structure for questions. We're going, to use, we're going to see the structure of a statement, affirmative, okay, or negative. Let me continue here. Also, these questions do not take any auxiliaries such as do, does, did, have, has, and was, to mention just a few, yes, but have, oh, we, can, we can use it, yes, have, has, and was, that was my mistake over there. Do, does, and did are the ones that we cannot use, all right? This one can be used. We can use was, yes, yes, and this one too. Now, these are the expressions. Look at them. Look at expressions. We have, do you know? I wonder if, I was wondering if, I would like to know if, can you tell me? I don't know. Could you tell me? And I don't remember if, or I don't remember. Okay. These are some some expressions that we can use with indirect questions, okay? Of course, we have more options. We have more options, okay? And uh, I just, I just, I'm just giving you the most common list, okay? Yes, very good. I think we have some examples here. Look, let's take a look at examples. Look in the first one. I don't know where I left the documents. Okay. This right here is the indirect question. Where I left the documents is not a question, but it is, I mean, it's not a, a grammar question or it, okay, with the with the uh structure for the question, okay? But it is an indirect question, that one, where I left the documents. The second thing here, the second sentence, it says, I wonder if the intern is making the necessary changes in his report, all right? Yes. This right here is the indirect question, okay? Because you're asking for the answer, even though you're not using you're not using the question structure. The next one, look at it. I don't remember. I don't remember what she was talking about. What she was talking about is the indirect question. Okay. Yes. We need or we're asking for the answer. Okay. We need the person who we're talking to, we need this person to tell us about what she was talking about. Then uh, the next one here, it's this one. Could you find out where the meeting room is? Could you find out where the meeting room is? Where the meeting room is, is the, the, the indirect question. We want to know the location or we want to know the place for the meeting. For, sorry, for the meeting room. Now, the next one is this one. Do you know who cleans the warehouse? Do you know who cleans the warehouse? 
We're asking this indirect question because we want to know the person in charge of cleaning. Yes. And the last one, do you understand what she is saying? Do you understand what she is saying? Okay. We're asking an indirect question. We want to know what she is saying. So we're asking what she is saying indirectly. All right. Now, excellent. That was the review time. Let's see. Let's see. Look at the practice time. We're going to practice. Okay. Look at this. I have three examples here. Complete the following expressions with an indirect question. People choose one. Choose only one and give me a sentence, please. Only one, choose only one, not the three of them, only one. Choose one and give me your example. Yes, go ahead. I will give you two minutes. Choose one of them. Oh, let me read them to you. The first one, they want to wonder if Mr. Avocado would like to know if, and the seamstress doesn't know. You're going to give me, or you're going to include an indirect question right there. Choose only one. Okay, I think we are ready, or you are ready. Let me start, or let us start. I need a volunteer. Yes, a volunteer. Hello. Anybody? Maybe, maybe teacher. They wanna wonders if uh, you sometimes. Um, have been it one, have been eighty one. Mm, okay, it will be that they wanna wonders if you have eaten iwana, eaten. Yes, I will send you the the the, the correction in and the participle, past participle, past participle right? exactly. Yes, I I wrong. Okay, my bad, so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you for correcting me. If you have eaten Okay, something like that in the chat. Okay, yes, Fatima was raising her hand. Fatima? Uh, I think they wanna wonder if jump the risk. If jump the risk, jump the saltar. Uh -huh. uh, if jump the risk, oh. Oh, because we need we need we need the, the 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 how can I tell you the indirect question we need the subject and the verb and the complement. Try, try with an, another, a different one. Choose another one and give me another example later, okay? Let me see, Holman wants, he's, he's raising his hand. Holman, yes. Um, Mr. Evoca uh, Avocado, yeah. would, would like to know if you wanna go to the concert. Okay, would like to know if you want to go to the concert. Okay, okay. yes, yes. The indirect question has been applied perfectly. Yes, Mr. Avocado. Mr. Avocado. 
Yes. All right, all right. Let's continue here. Uh, Magdaleno, yes. Teacher, I am thinking about the one I wonder if today will be a rainy day. Okay, there you go, there you go. Okay, the one I wonder if today will be, if today will be a rainy day. Yes, yes, we have the good, the good in their question right there. Okay, let's continue. We need more examples. There are more people over there. I can see you guys. <laughs> Guys, yes. Mr. Avocado would like to know if it is taken into account for the guacamole. Okay, uh, yeah, yes, 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 okay, yes. And you have you have followed the perfect indirect question word order. Perfect, perfect, Isabel, thank you very much. Let's continue. More people. There are 14 people and only like, only three have given examples or four. So we're missing 11 people. Yes. People try, try. No, no more examples, okay. Now, let's continue with the book, all right? So let's go to the book. Over there, we're gonna be looking at some things that are very interesting. Yes. And we're going to practice some vocabulary that we find there. Now, let's go, let's go to the book. It's gonna be on page 29, all right? The one who wonders if the people someday will respect them, or respect it. Okay, okay, yes, yes. All right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. We'll be like, res respect me or respect us, you know? Okay, let me share the book with you guys. Let me, okay. It's, it's already there. It's page 29, okay? Page number 29, it's this one. It says building vocabulary. Let me make this bigger. Okay, here we go. Building vocabulary. The term in the, is the chart describe the steps of a production process of, for a shampoo. My, match the steps to the corresponding tasks. Compare answers with a partner. Guys, let's do this. I'm going to give you one, two, three, three minutes. No, I think I'm, I'm going to give you more. All right, sorry. But be yeah. before we do that, before we start, I'm sorry, Magdalena. <laughs> yes, before we, we, we start doing this, let's, let's check the vocabulary, okay? Let's do this. Mix, mix, you know what mix is, right? This one is easy. Let's go to capping. You know what capping is? Capping? It's the thing, it's the thing that you use to seal a bottle. Okay, like, yes, that's cap. Like, it's like a lid, like a, a lid. A lid? Aha, uh -huh, lid. What do you mean lid? Una tapadera, un tapón. Yes, exactly, that's capping. Yes, I didn't know that word lid, I'm going to look for it. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? <laughs> okay, no, you don't remember? Okay, I got it. Uh, let me see, we got, ah, oh, lead, lead. We'll be lead. No, it's not lead. Lead. L, L, I, D. Uh, I, D. Lead, lead, yes, lead. All right, all right. I won't forget that word again. Yes. What is, what is the pronunciation? Lead. No, it's not lead. lead. It's not lead. It's lead. 
Ah, yeah. lead is the leader, right? All right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Leader. Yeah. It's led. No, pero no como... como Not led. Lamp, lead. Lead. <laughs> lead. It's between, between I and E, right? In the middle, lead. <laughs> So capping is the, the, the thing or the object that you use to seal something, okay? A recipient, a bottle, etc. Labeling, what is labeling? It's when you put the name of the company or the name of the product on the product, okay? Or on the surface of the product. Maybe a box, maybe a bottle, maybe a can or, 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 or something bigger. And packing, you know what packing is, right? Now, over here, we're gonna see vocabulary. Look, after the batch is approved, the shampoo is pour, uh, poured in the right amount into the empty bottles. The conveyor belt takes the bottles to the machine where the labels with the ingredients and the brand name is dug, stuck on them. The bottles are moved to another machine that puts a cap on every bottle and twists them right tight. All the raw materials are poured in a batch and mixed. The bottles are put into boxes and are ready to be sent to the stores. And the last one says, a sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets specifications. Do you have questions about this vocabulary here? Let me turn on my camera because my internet is slowly, super slow. Teacher, what, what does mean uh, conveyor, conveyor? Conveyor. Uh, conveyor belt, I remember, I remember conveyor. It's the whole, it's the whole thing, the whole thing, yes. It's a machine. It's a machine. Do you know the machine? Hello. I yes, I, I know the machine. I remember that. I get it. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Do you have more questions? Let me see if it is working now. Hopefully it will work. At the number at the number three teacher and the bottles are moved. The the end at the end is twist. Like um what means that? Twist. 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 That's what it is. Twist. Okay. You can twist your, your body, but it's not good. You can twist your, 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 your ankle, your hand, but that's not good. It's like almost breaking it, right? But in this case, it's like when you're doing this. Wait, wait. Right? Yes. All right. It's, the, it's a lot, like the last part slowly. Yes. yes, more questions? No, we're good? Okay, now, uh, well, I will give you a couple of minutes, two or three, to finish this. Put the number in the parentheses if you think it is the right definition, the right concept. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me know when you finish, please.
I fe I finished that. Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Now, are you guys ready? I finished too, teacher. Yeah, you finished? All right. Okay, okay. I think we are, or you are ready. Let's start. Uh, we're going to read, we're going to read the definition. Okay, or you are going to read the definition and you're going to give me the number from one to six. Okay, yes, a volunteer. Read the first one, please. Could I? Yes, go ahead. After the batch is approved, the shampoo is poured and the right amount into the empty bottles. Yes. What, what did you be, say? It could be a fil filter. Okay. Dash, do you agree with him? Do you agree it is number three, filter? No? Yeah. I agree. I'm sorry? I agree with Magdalene. Okay, you agree, yes. Okay, yeah, we can say that that one is filter, yes. It goes right there. Uh, let's continue with the second one. Anybody to read, please? Hello. Number five, leveling teacher. Okay, read it, please. Ah, uh, the com we oui. conveyor belt takes a take the bottle to the machine where the labels with ingredients and the brand names is took on them. Okay. Labeling. This will be, will be labels, labels, labels. Labeling. Tuck. Tuck. All right. Yes. Tuck. All right. All right. You said number five, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, okay. Do you agree, people? Do you agree with Hector? Yeah, I agree with them. Okay. Okay. I think nobody disagrees. All right. Yes, it's it's a okay. It's a, that one is okay. That one is okay. Let's continue here. Let me see. Holman, read the next one, please. Um, the bottles are moved to another machine that spun a cap on every bottle and twins. Then, things. Pints. Right, yes. Uh, bottles, bottles, bottles. I think it's... Caping? Caping? Labeling. Labeling, you mean? Labeling. Four. Oh, capping. Say capping. Okay, capping. All right. Guys, do you agree with Holman? Yeah, I agree. Yes. I read okay. teacher. All right. We're good. We're good. Excellent. Excellent. The next one, Fatima, help us, please. All the raw materials are poor in a batch and mixed. Okay. Then number one. Number one. Yes. Mix. Okay. People, do you agree with Fatima? No, yes, don't. teacher, agree. Yes, okay, yes. Agree too. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's continue here with, uh, let me see, Ivan. The next one, please. Okay, uh, the barrels are put into boxes and are ready to be sent to the stores. Uh, number six, packing. Okay, number six, packing. Does anybody disagree? Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. 
And the last one, Isabel, help us please. I think he's not there. Christopher, can you help us? I see a sample is sent, but to be analyzed to ensure it's met a specification. It's number two, quality control. Okay. okay. Number two, quality control. Okay, a sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets the specifications. People, excellent. Very good, very good. Now we're going to continue. There is a lot to do. There's still a lot to do. Let me go down here to number seven here. We will continue with number seven at the end. At the end of the class, if we still have time, we're going to continue with this one. Now, we're gonna go to the next one, and it's right here. Look, uh, we're gonna be answering the questions in uh, number one or in part number one. Today's objective is this. I will be able to describe the steps to assemble a product. What is assemble, people? Assemble. What is it? Assemblage. Yes. Okay. It's when you put, when you're putting everything together, right? Or when you're bringing everything together to make a whole. Okay. Yes. That's what it is. Let's continue. We got the first question. Have you ever visited as have you ever visited an assembly plant? Guys? Have you ever visited an assembly plant? No, never? Student teacher. Yes. You have? When was a student in the high middle, uh, bachillerato? Oh, uh, high school. High school. In the high school. <laughs> in the high school here in El Salvador, no, I in the United States. Uh, but I don't know, he visited, visited Coca-Cola, maybe, I, I think, similar to the symbol. Okay, all right, all right. Anybody else? I've never, I've never, uh, I, I've never visited visited um, some factory. Okay, you haven't visited any factory. All right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. I think almost nobody has, but I haven't. I can't remember, probably in a video, <laughs> but, yeah, but I haven't really, really been to a place like this. Okay, the second question is kind of important. Look, in your own words, how is assembly, excuse me, how is an assembly line different from a production, production line? What can you tell me about these two concepts? Yes, tell me. Angaleno, yes, tell me. Uh, teacher, um, it and I, I think that is uh, different because uh, assemble line is a line in a conveyor belt where uh, where the different part for a, a product, um, a machinery or something are uh, in, above the conveyor belt, advancing and advancing and putting order, putting together everyone. That, that is the assemble, assemble line. And the other one, the production line, is the line of uh, the line, um, the procedure, the procedure what you use to produce some something. You have a brainstorm, you have a prototype, um, study market, I don't know, I, I remember that. The, the class pro before. It's okay. 
<laughs> all right, all right. We, we got your idea. Are there any more opinions? I would like to get more opinions. And then we're going to be talking about what Magdalena was saying. Guys, what's the difference? Or is there no difference? Hello. It, I, I think it's your production line referred to all the process to make or, or make a, a product. Mm -hmm. And ensemble line is a specific, a specific for put one piece on the another piece or make a finally product. Product finally, I don't know. Maybe teacher. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Okay. I think we're not gonna get more opinions. Right? <laughs> no, we won't. Okay. Yes, it's basically what Magdaleno and you, Hector, have mentioned. It's exactly what you mentioned. The assembly line is basically machines, all right, that do all the work or the heavy work, okay? And this one is, how can I tell you, very systematical, all right? Like everything goes in order from the beginning to the end, like very step by step, okay? And uh, also, and also the, 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 what you were saying is also true about the production line. It's basically people, you know, that are trying to bring everything together, but not in the same way as the assembly line, okay? It, they are completely different, yes. yes. All right, yes. Now, we're going to continue down here with the second part. It says building vocabulary. Go online and find out more key terms from, uh, related to assembly line. We got four of them or four areas, four areas in the assembly line, as you see them, conveyor belt, bulk production, manual labor and machine hours, okay? Yes, what we're going to do is this. Yes, uh, guys, we're gonna do this individually. Let's, let's put a definition, a short definition of what each area is about, okay? Yes. Mention down here, mention what conveyor belt is, mention what bulk production is, mention what manual labor is, and mention what machine hours is here. A very short definition. I'm going to give you two minutes, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna choose to, some people to, to, to share. <clears throat> Teacher, what's many bulk productions in? Oh, bulk, bulk production. Bulk. Yes, it's when you put when you put the material in a recipient, maybe a bag, maybe a bottle, maybe a, a can. It's the material that you put inside a recipient. That's the area about. It's a, uh, uh, an area, all right? And in that area is where you, you put the, 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 the content in the recipient. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Eyes are burning. Teacher. Yes. Machine hours. Machine are to Ornalis in the Salvador. No. 
Come again, please. Machine hours is yes. similar to Fernandez. Fernandez says it is a how many how many work do the people in the in, in the rural zone for make the work is similar. No. Machine, machine hours, many oh, okay. the yes. time, the, the working uh, machines. Working, yes. machine, working machines, machine yes. hours, or as machina. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. It's yes. different. It's exactly what Ivan said. Yes. Is oh, this specific time? For the, is it the time for the machines to work? Yes. Mm. The same when you are. When you contract some heavy machine for higher. doing a street, what? higher, higher, higher machine for do a street or for correct uh, mountains, uh, something like that. Okay. These machines, you have to pay them for hours. Mm -hmm. It is machine hours. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Okay. Okay. I got it. Or when you rent a car. Okay. Mm -hmm. you use it for a specific time yes and then you have to return it mm -hmm. yes. thank you okay now i think we, we we are ready all right uh let's just start with the first one i would like to get opinions about the conveyor belt what is it about what is this area about Conveyor belt is, uh, uh, I think, uh, the, se utiliza, what do you it say? Is, it is used. It is used on the, on the lines productions, uh, maybe. Okay, okay, all right, all right, yes. Anybody else? Another one, conveyor belt. I think that the com a conveyor belt is a machine. Um, what oh, um, is a, it? Is a machine that have a belt uh, for how do you say ule? Ule material, ule. Jesus, I forgot. I don't use that word in, 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 like very often, so I don't really remember. Can't remember. That's the idea. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a, it's a machine. The machine with the moving. I I saw one of them in a video about the, the production line of the snacks on Gianna. Yes. I see one. It it is it is really big. It is really big. Uh, long. Maybe long is a better word. It's long. So long. In the conveyor belt, put inside um, um, some some parts of the snacks or the cookies, and uh, one place uh, the manual labor put uh, the um, taste after the other cup, other taste, other cup, and uh, and then in in a bag, in a bag production, we put in in a bag in a big bag. And is it the use of for a conveyor your belt? Okay, okay, yes, excellent, excellent. I looked it up, it's rubber, rubber in the chat. Rubber, yes. I don't use that word very often, so I, I forget about it. Yes, I don't use it very often. Hector, yes. Rubber like a pneumatic, right? Sorry? Rubber. Rubber like a pneumatic. Yes, rubber, rubber, yes. Rub is a verb too, rub, frotar. Yes, rub. Hector, I'm sorry. No problem. In my in my work, I have a situation mm -hmm. with a jacinto de agua, you know? Jacinto de agua is a, is a plant uh, grow, who grow in, in the, the lake mm -hmm. is necessary uh, se llama? extraer extraer extract 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 from the lake because it's problem it's very problem 
uh, automatic or and use a convert computer barrel for make uh, for do the job or the work fast mm. uh, is for uh, trans transport uh, from the lake to the it put on the on the truck pickup mm -hmm. and and sacarlo de ahí. Let's get it out. <laughs> get, it, get it out. To get it out. Get, get it out. Uh huh. And the conveyor belt is for uh, for transport from, uh, from one the... area to another area for make different different uh, different processes. Different process. Processes. Mm -hmm. Processes. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So oh, you use the conveyor belt because it is, you know, fast. It helps production to be fast. Yes. Okay, very good, very good, very good opinions. Let's continue with the other one is bulk production. What is this area about or what is it about? Can anyone mention anything about this? Yes. Sorry, teacher, for each one are you asking? Exactly, yes. Yes. But some of you have mentioned mentioned pretty much all of them. <laughs> so guys, what, what is the, the, the bulk production for? Or what is it about? Uh, could I could I try? Yes. The bulk production bulk is block. Bulk. Uh, bulk. 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 The bulk production is um is a the the the, the first la, the first part when the product finished is putting in a big bag, for example, a big containers. Mm and people have to put them in these places and after they have to 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 brand or i don't know to package and a little package for 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 already to to sell that i don't know how how i can explain that it's okay it's fine it's fine don't worry about it Okay, it's basically what, what he mentioned. He mentioned that earlier too, uh, about about the, the how how this process or what this area is all about, and it's all about filling filling up recipients. Okay, if you're filling up recipients there, uh, probably a bottle, probably a bucket, probably a can, all right, etc. What about this one? In manual labor. What is this about? Manual labor, what is it about? Guys? Would be the people who is working in the, in the fabric, the something, fabric, in the fabrication of something. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Okay, this one is kind of simple to understand and it's pretty obvious. Also the other one, the machine hours. Now, since we're, we're, we're like, uh, we have a time limitation, we're going to continue with this part down here. Let's learn five new words. Weld, screw, tighten, adjust, and a screw. The first one, weld, what is this people? I don't don't tell me in Spanish. Tell me in English. What is it? It is when you use a a weld machine to to put together two iron uh, two pieces of iron. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's it's an electrical method. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Yes. And now, what is it in Spanish? <laughs> Yes, okay, <laughs> all right, all right. 
What about screw? Screw has many definitions. Sometimes it is used to offend people. Okay. Uh, what is a screw? I lost one screw, teacher. <laughs> like, the action, the action of doing this, right? The action of doing that. Yes. Titan, Titan. What is Titan? Titan is there? Look, look. With my shirt, with my shirt. Uh, uh, oh no, Titan. Okay, apre. That's what it is. Titan. I'll just as easy. And a screw is the object or the tool, all right? The object that you use like this, right? That's a screw. Now, people match, match the terms related to assembly processes to their corresponding meanings. Let's do this, people. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. <clears throat> Teacher, what means, what does means slightly? Slightly, slightly. A little. Slightly. Slightly, yes. Slightly. The synonym for this one is somewhat. That's the synonym. Somewhat means a little. Teacher, how do you pronounce, how do you pronounce the uh, read in the number four? I just, I point a piece, a piece of metal with a twisted. Oh, this one, thread, thread, thread. That's what it is. And it means, um, Rosca. Did you guys finish? Almost. Your microphone is off if you're talking to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading, Try to understand that. All right, all right, it's okay, thanks. <clears throat>
uh, after instead instead of hiding is hiding or hitting 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 Let me know when you finish. Give me a second. There you go. Yeah. Okay, did you finish people? Have you finished? Yes, finishing. Okay, okay. Yes, I finished. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna start right now. Let's start. The same dynamic. We're gonna read the definition and you're going to tell me which one you think is the number or the correct number. Let's start with Holman. Holman, read the first one, please. <clears throat> to move to move an object slightly. Slightly. Slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better. better. Okay, what is the answer? I think I'd, I'd, I'd just adjust number four. That one? Yeah. Okay. Guys, do you agree with, with Holman? I agree. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay. You guys agree. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Let me continue here. Uh, let's see. Christopher, help us read the next one, please. No. Is not there. Teacher. Okay, yes, Hector. Thank you. Uh, to turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turning uh, anymore. Be, be turned anymore. For me, it's number five. I screw. Screw number five. What do you think about these people? Do you agree? No, 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 I agree. I don't think so. Okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, what is your answer? Or which one do you suggest? 
For me, answer is uh, number three. Yes. I, yes, I suggest that. Number I, three. To turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore. Turned. Sorry. Sorry. Passiva. Cannot be turned. All right. Yes. Yes. It's number three. All right. Number three, Titan. That's that one. Number three. Very it's good. A, what, what is pronunciation of this word? Titan. 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 It's Titan. Titan. <laughs> Titan. Titan. I don't know. I can, how can I tell you? But no, no it's tight, tight, Titan. Titan. It's, it's a it's Titan, 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 it's a little difficult to pronounce, yes, Titan, yes, let's continue with the other one, uh, Fatima, help us, please, thank you very much. To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating? Heating, yes. Heating. So the edges come together. Okay, so the ages, ages. Edges. Pieces and ages. To join, and what is what is your answer, Fatima? Number one. Number one, weld. Guys, do you agree with her? It's right. Yes. Okay. Yep. It is that one. It is that one. Weld to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the ages come together. Yes. Thank you very much for your participation. Let me continue here with another person. Uh, Rosalina, are you available? I'm guessing she's not. Elivaldo, what about you? Are you there? No, okay. And Roberto? Hola. Okay. Hello. Roberto. Okay, Roberto, go ahead. Read, please. please. A pointed piece of metal with a twist, but on it called Instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten piece of metal or wood together. Okay, what is your answer? Uh, for me, it's number five. Number five, screw. Screw. Okay, guys, do you agree with, with Roberto? Hello. Yes? Hola. Yes, I think so. Okay, yes, yes. A pointy piece of metal with the twisted part on is on it called thread. Instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together, right? That's what it is. And the last one, it says to attach one surface to another using a screw. Guys, what about this one? Tell me. Of course, right, number four. <laughs> it's the last for, uh, how do you say for? Um, number nine. Or evacuation, no sé. It's the last one. Which one how, haven't we selected? Number two, right? Screw. Okay, there you go. Yes, we got it. Excellent, excellent. Now, we're going to continue with a complicated part. Well, no, not so complicated, but we're gonna try to, to make it look easy. Let me share the presentation with you again. And over here, we're going to see a lot of questions or pretty much all the questions we use in English. 
Okay, we're going to continue talking about indirect questions, but this time we're going to be using information questions. Information questions are the ones that you see here, all right? Yes. But let me remind you of what an indirect question is. The definition is right here, look. It says indirect questions are those types of questions that do not follow the question word order, okay? It means that we don't use uh, auxiliaries, such, auxiliaries like do, does, and did. We do not use these auxiliaries in these type of questions. We use these expressions, do you know? I wonder if, I was wondering if, I would like to know if, can you tell me? I don't know. Could you tell me? And I don't remember if. Right here, I have the questions. What, what time, what kind of, where, when, which, who, whose, why, how, how often, or how often, how many, how much, how long, how many times, how plus adjectives, and how plus adverbs. Do you have any questions about these questions? No, we're I, good. Think, I think that you will be, will give us some example, right? Yes, yes, I will. Okay. Yes. No, we're good. Okay. Let's continue. Here. We got the questions there and we got five examples. Okay. And let's look at examples. Let me see who can help us read the examples. Holman, help us read the first one. Read the first one. Uh, the the investors do do not know where they are losing a strap. Losing, losing. Losing a strap. Okay, look. One example or the first example that I have here, the investors do not know where they are losing strength. Okay, where they are losing the strength is the indirect question. Okay, yes. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the second question or example says, Ivan, read the second example, please. Ivan is not available. Okay, Roberto, help us, please. Number two? Yes, please. Pamela Molina from HR is wondering when the meeting will be held. Okay, look, Pamela Molina from HR is wondering when the meeting will be held, all right? When the meeting will be held is the indirect question, okay? Yes, very good, very good. The third example, look at it. Holman, help us please with the third example. Again, yes, this one. Uh, does Mr. Herodas remember what the boss was saying in the seminar? Okay, <laughs> Mr. Herodas, Herodas. <laughs> All right, yes. Look, Mr. Does Mr. Ross remember what the boss was saying in the in the seminar? What the boss was saying in the seminar is the indirect question. Yes. Next, another example down there. Let me see. Lucy, can you help us read it? Yes. Number four. Mr. Gabriel Perez would like to know how long they are going to stay out of town. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Mr. Gabriel P Perez would like to know how long they are going to stay out of town. How long they are going to stay out of town is the indirect question. The last one, you got the last one down there and uh, Isabel, help us please. Help us with this, with this 
Isabel is sleepy. <laughs> okay, Fatima, you then. Number five. Yes, the last one. Miss Jandres needs to know why she is being fired. 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 Okay. Miss Jandres needs to know why she's being fired. Why she's be, being fired is the indirect question. Okay. And this is how we use WH questions, you know, as indirect questions. Now, do you have any questions? Yes, anybody? No, okay, we're good then. Now, we're going to continue and what I need you guys to do is choose one question, choose one of them, only one, all right? Whichever one you want, you can use, or you can choose whichever one you want. Now, and you're going to give me a similar example, okay? Take a look at these examples right here. Take a look at them and try to give me a similar one. Similar, not the same, similar. Try to give me a similar example using the correct indirect question word order. The indirect question word order is this one, okay? Yes. Guys, let's work on this right now. Yes, for that, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to Teacher, how many? How many oh, we have to do? One, 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 just one. Here, here. These are the expressions. You have the expressions down here. Expressions that you can use. And you have the questions here, okay? Only one, one expression and one example with the question here. Yes. Let's do this. I'm going to give you a uh, Right at the chat, teacher. Oh no, no, I'm just, I'm just giving you ideas or examples. Yes, to help you a little bit more. Guys, are you ready? Okay. 
I think we are. Teacher, what means brief? Brief. A oh, brief. It's a short informative meeting. Yes. A briefing. Like. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. That's a brief. Yes. Yeah. It's when you receive news. I mean, you are the boss and you receive, you get news, right? You have to share this news quickly. That's a brief. That's a quick meeting. Yes. Okay. Let's start sharing. Uh, let me see. We're going to start with uh, Roberto. Are you ready? Not teacher. <laughs> no? Okay. I understand. Don't worry. Uh, let me see another person down here. Let me choose Holman. Yes. I know you are ready. Um. And I would like, <clears throat> I would like, uh, where's my cat? Wait, I would like to know. I would like to know, where's, where's my cat? Mm. I would like to know where is my cat, right? Yes. Is it correct? Do you think it is correct? People, did you hear his example? Do you think it is correct? He said, I would like, I would, um, I don't remember how, how he said. I would like to, I would like to. But uh, he said, I would like to know where is my cat? And the correct word, the correct indirect question word order is where my cat is. Okay. Where is my cat is a, is a direct question. Okay. So it will be where my cat is, all right? Okay, thank you, Holman. Maybe you can try later on with another example, yes. That's okay. Uh, Fatima? I think the students would like to know when is the exam. Okay, we, we have the same situation right here. You know, the students would like to know when is the exam. When is the exam is the direct question word order. The indirect question word order is I, uh, the students would like to know when the exam is. Yes. When the exam is, yes. The thing is that we, we don't use, let me show you this again. Oops. Let me show you this again. Look, uh, with more examples here. Look. This is not the question, uh, the question word order. This is a statement, okay? It's an oración positiva, okay? But, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's an indirect question, okay? Tiene la estructura de una oración positiva, pero es una pregunta indirecta. If you have this, let me show you. If you say, I'm sorry, what, what a bad error. Okay, there you go. If I say the investors do not know where are they losing strength, where are they? No, okay, because where are they is the direct question. Yes, all right, that's how it goes. The same thing here, look, when the meeting will, when the meeting will, what the boss was, how, how long they are, and why she is, right? We don't say why she, why is she, okay? Yes. All right. 
maybe you can try with another example, Fatima, later, okay? Yes. Let me continue here with Ivan. Hello. Okay, Ivan is not there. What about Hector? Teacher, I have only two. It's okay, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. I don't know if it's good. How many times do you need for make a prototype? Repeat, please. How many times do you need for make a prototype? Proto prototype. No, give me the, the whole sentence. Uh, how many? Time you need for make a prototype. Mm, no, no, it's not like that. No. No. We, we, have to, we have to start. The indirect question doesn't start with the question. No inicia con la pregunta. Esto que están acá. Okay. If you notice, if you notice, it's in the middle, it's in medio. Where, when, what, ah. how long, and why. We need, we need to use the expressions here. Let me show you. We need to use these expressions, okay? Yes. These expressions. Can you tell me where the barber shop is? I don't know why she came to my house. I don't remember when I left my laptop in the university. There it was. Yes. I know it's a little difficult. Yes. Hey, uh, sir. Yes, Holman. Uh, for example, uh, <laughs> do, you, do you know where the restaurant is? Okay, yes. Do you know where the restaurant is? Okay, do you know where the restaurant is? Yes, okay. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you, Holman. Roberto is raising his hand. Roberto, yes. Hey, I have a sentence. Um, I I wonder why I, I don't learn ma mathematics. Okay, I wonder why I don't learn mathematics because we don't like numbers. We like numbers in, we like numbers in money. But, <laughs> right people, yes. <laughs> it's an example. Yes, it is exactly. I, like <laughs> I, don't, I don't like mathematics. That's why I studied English. <laughs> Excellent example, it's, it is good, it is good. All right, uh, Lucy, do you have an example? She's not there. Okay, let me try with uh, Isabel. Are you there? No. Okay, Fatima, can you try again? I don't know. I would like to know who. Who gave the invitation? Repeat, please. I would like to know mm -hmm. who, who uh, make the invitation. I would like to know who made, made. 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 If it is past, who made? If it is present, who makes? Okay. Right. Yes, but in the, the order is correct. In this case, it's correct. Yes, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Magdaleno, can you give us one example? Or do you have one? Yes, teacher, but I have an, a question with that because I don't remember how do you say that in, in the future, for example, <laughs> teacher. Uh, teacher, do you know how long will during our course Repeat it. Teacher, do you know 
how long will during our course? En Spanish es, eh, profesor, ¿tú sabes cuánto tiempo durará nuestro curso? Yes, but no. <laughs> It will be, do you know how long our course will last? You have to use the subject before, before the auxiliary. The auxiliary is, is a will, okay? So you have to use the subject before will, okay? Like this, let me repeat it again. Do you know how long our course subject will last? If you say how long will our course last, that, that, that's a question, a direct question. Will It's, last. Will uh, last. Last. Yes. Yes. I know. I know. This topic is 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 a. Uh, it looks easy. It is easy, but it is the practice is difficult. Okay. We have to. We have to uh, adapt our brains to this new new. Uh, you know, new. How can I tell you? New uh, knowledge. Let's say. Okay. Very good. Let's continue trying. Anybody else? This topic is difficult. You should try to give me more or try to practice more. Yeah. Please, could you tell me what time is it? No. Can you tell me what time it is? What time is it? What time is it? It's a question. Direct question. Okay. What time? It is. It is. What yeah. time it is? Okay. It's because our brain is automatic. Okay. Our brain is automatic. Like, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Yes. <laughs> All right. Guys, anybody else? Elivaldo, are you there? Ivan, we lost Ivan. Then we have just people listening. This one, this one, this one. No, no more examples. Here we go. Look, we're gonna go to this. Antonio, thank you very much for your participation. It says, can you tell me where the next restaurant is? Yes. Okay, yes, it is correct. Where the next restaurant is. Good example. Thank you very much for sharing it. Now, we're going to continue and let's go to the book again. And over there, we're going to see more examples about this topic. Look, we got it here. How to use indirect questions, information questions. Indirect questions, sorry. Indirect information questions are not introduced by, introduced again with D, with D, by F. Instead, they are introduced with a WH word. What, where, how, how long, etc. Look, I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are. I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are, okay? Compare it to what are the two pieces I need to weld, right? Direct question, indirect question that up here, okay? I like to know when the provider will send the order of screws. Compare it to when will the provider send the order of screws? Direct question, indirect question. Hold on. <coughs> My love. I'm sorry. Okay, yes. Here, would you mind telling us how much the provider charges to process the order? Indirect question. Would you let me know? No, no, here, okay, sorry, sorry. How much does the provider charge to process the order? Direct question. Would you let me know 
what time the first batch is expected to be complete compared to what time is the first batch expected to be complete? Okay, there you go. Very good. Look, reminder right down here. A reminder, helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions. If the introductory segment is a phrase, use a period at the end of the indirect question. If the phrase is a question, use the question mark. Very good. Part number four, number, look, pair work. Number the drawings in the correct order to assemble or to assemble all the parts of a bicycle. Okay, that's what we are going to do. All right, yes. Let's do that right now for a couple of minutes. Yes. One, two, three, one, two. You put them together, okay? You finish now? I finish. Thank you. What about the rest? Are you finished, people? Okay, let's just start. Let's just start right now. What will be the first one right here? We are we are assembling the bicycle. What will be the first part over here? the frame okay does everybody agree yes yes okay. the, frame, the frame is the first part excellent 
What about the second one? What is the second part? Guys, what is the second part? Hello. Wheels. Okay. The wheels, right? The wheels. Yes, yes. That's the second part, the wheels. Thank you, thank you, Hector. Part number three. What is the part number three or the third part? Yes. Pedals. Pedals, right? The pedals, yes. Thank you, Holman, for that. The pedals, yes. The next one. What is the next one or the fourth one? Guys, fourth one? No, you don't know? The handle, handlebars. That's number four, handlebars. What about number six? Excuse me, number five. Saddle, saddle. Paddle. Saddle. Mm -hmm. Ah, saddle, saddle, yes, saddle. Yes. Saddle, if you want. And the last thing I will hear is shipping. Shipping. Yes, shipping. Very good, very good. Now, now we're going to work. We're going to work in pairs. There are many people that are not available at the moment, so I'm going to make the groups myself. Yes, and I'm going to people. I'm going to put the people that are not available in a specific group. Let me do this right now. Okay. Wait, wait, don't join don't, don't don't join the groups yet. Take it easy, take it easy. Now, in the groups, in the groups, we're going to be practicing, we're going to be practicing the indirect questions. Okay. So I'm going to be monitoring the groups. And I would like to hear more examples, okay? Yes. If your classmate has problems, please help him or help her, okay? And vice versa, okay? And I will be monitoring. You are going to practice, you're going to practice the indirect questions with what, where, when, which, who, why, etc. Now you can join the groups. People, I will see you there. Join the groups, please. Join them, join them. Got it. Let's go, let's go, everyone. Let's go, everyone. For the ones that are available, please join the groups.
teacher would would you let me get, share my screen i'm sorry thank you now why can i can i write oh, no where i can I write there no with my keyboard uh, you have to go to the options annotate where is tape <laughs> no i can do it mm, okay it's better with a word <laughs> <laughs> is this here? Yes, it is here. All right. Okay, Fatima, let's go. Um, does teacher remember? Okay, could you, when... repeat, could you repeat the beginning? That's the teacher. That's the teacher. That's the teacher. That's the teacher. Remember when Remember the class began. Begin. When the class began. Repeat. Is right. Does the teacher remember when the class began? It is a, a, a question. Question mark. Is right, teacher? Yes. Question mark. Okay. Other example can. I would like where where my dog is. Look like I, I would lie where I would I, I would like to know, or I would like to know. I would like to know. I would like to know. I would like to know where my dog is. Actually, actually, is that this question are a polite way to do a question. Is right? Yes, yes. Give me another one. All right. See you later. And then, no. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, I, I understand. Uh, teacher, uh, my 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 classmate Hector are a little bit confused. I am uh, and too and too, but I understand a, a little bit, and I I create the example to 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 help to help Hector. Yes, yes. Example. Can you tell me? Can you tell me where where the restaurant is? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's okay. Yes. But and I I was I I was explain mm -hmm. uh, uh to uh, to Hector. Mm -hmm. uh, normal when you 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 do that this question. Mm -hmm. Where is the restaurant? But in this case you change the 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 subject and the name i i i remember that that words uh subject and restaurant in this case is name is noun the subject or the noun yes it's the noun it is hmm. is the pronoun the verb let's say the verb hmm. restaurant is subject the subject yes it is 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 the verb it's the verb. Yes. Okay. Um, the thing is that uh, I think April was not was not was not here yesterday. I think. Yes. 
let me uh, ask a question. What are you doing? Is this question correct, people? Yes. Yes. Okay, this question is correct. And this question is straight to the point. Straight to the point or direct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. the question is direct. Yeah. And indirect questions don't have the same structure. Okay, yes, indirect questions, they have the statement word order. Okay, in this case, the statement word order is you are. Okay, not are you. Are you is the question, the direct question. The, uh, indirect, question, uh, the indirect question is you are in this case. So it will be, uh, I don't understand what you are doing. The first one is the direct question. The second one is the indirect question. You have to change the... You have to change the order, the order. Yes, I understand that. Okay, okay, very good. Let me try with another example with a different different structure here. Let me try with, uh, with present perfect. What have you eaten? What have you eaten look direct? What have you eaten? We're going to change have you. Have you is the structure for the question. Okay, it's gonna be you have. Okay. Well, I don't know. No, what you have eaten. I don't know what you have eaten. Direct question, indirect question. Yes. Okay. Examples you met the examples you mentioned before. Where is the garden? The garden, no. Where's the school? Where's the school? Is it the direct question? Can uh, excuse me? Can you tell me where the school is? Okay. What are we changing here? We are changing the school. Is okay. esa parte cambiamos. Yes. Okay. School is okay. Do you understand? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Hector. In my first example, uh, usted me corrigió. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Uh, the the first the first. Uh, the primer intento, the first, I don't know. First try, the first try. The first try is say, say, how many times you need for make the prototype? It's direct question. But if if I change the order, we could see, could, could, could say, uh, we work in the prototype. How many times you need is is ever a question, direct question? No, still, still the same problem. The still, the thing is that, Hector, we don't, we don't start. No iniciamos una pregunta indirecta con una pregunta. Okay? Ah, yes. ah. Sino, sino que con expresiones. I don't know. No sé. I don't remember. Ah. I would like. To know, I need to know. Okay. Serían mm algunas. -hmm. Serían algunas. Let me show you an example. For example. For example. Oops. Still too small. Twenty-four. Okay. I don't know where my sister lives. I don't know where my sister lives. My sister lives. I don't remember where, how much where, where? I don't remember what my mom is cooking. 
Okay, what my mom is cooking. What my mom is cooking. I would like to know how much sugar I am going to need. Okay, I would like to know how much sugar I am, not am I. Okay, and the last one, I need to know how much I will pay. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you if you start a question with the questions, it's not indirect. It's direct. Uh huh. You have oh. to use the you have to use expressions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the main session because it is time. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let's go back, yes. <laughs> Okay, I think everybody is back now. No, Magdalena is still there with, with Fatima, yes. Okay, now they are back. Okay, people, we have finished. We don't have more time. Yes, I'm just gonna take attendance and then we will be free to go. Yes, let me take attendance. Let me update it. We got Adriana Maria Turcios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. Christopher Vidya Chipawa. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector Francisco Morales. Present. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Are you going to be able to stay after class? Yes, of course, teacher. Okay. Thank you for your time. Yes, no problem. Nelson Antonio Rodas. <laughs> Oscar was here too, yes. Oscar Armando. Wait. <laughs> All right, let me continue here. Uh, Oscar Armando Romero, yes, right? He was here. Pamela wasn't here today, we don't know why. Yes. Okay. Let's continue with uh, Roberto Carlos Hernandez Cruz. Present. And Rosalina was the last one. Yes, Oscar, thank you very much. Oscar, Antonio and Gabriel, thank you for letting me know about you. Okay, people, well, we got nothing else to do. Thank you very much for being here today. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night and sleep well. Sweet dreams, everyone. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Have good night, good night, everyone. Just give me a second, okay? We still have four people. Okay, no problem.
Imprima. Me voy a quitar de aquí. Imprima. Ok, we're going to start now. Pásame así, amor. Sí, no fue. Ready? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Tell me. Okay, I have just the, just two questions. Yes. Um, maybe. I have that with uh, who, whose, and whom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, could you uh, explain to me when you can use each one? Yes, yes, of course, I can help you. The ones that are complicated to understand are whom and whose. Whose, I, I, think, I think you understand who. Okay. I, I remember that. I have a, a, a little idea mm -hmm. for whose, whose is a possessive. For example, whose is this book? Whose is this, whose is those um, tomatoes? Something like something that. Like yeah. that. <laughs> I remember something you, like you that. Are, you are right. The problem is the structure. Mm -hmm. Not correct. The way that you're using it is not correct. Yes. Okay. okay. This to me. <laughs> Please correct to me. Okay, there you go. The first one, who? We're going to use them. We're going to use them as questions in a moment. Okay. Who do you call? Who do you call in Spanish? A quien llama? Right? Yes. Okay. Can I say, hey, who do you call? I'll be talking Okay, okay. Uh, in the first case is quien, and the second is a quien. Is right? No. The first in the first one you can say a quien. Yes. And the second? In the first one you can say no. I'm asking you what what do you understand? What, what do you think? What do you think? Who is? Okay, I I am I am thinking about who as um. As a person, okay. Um, who um, who is in the phone? Who is at the phone? Is the first question. Mm -hmm. Who is? And the second question is, you are taking the phone, and you and you are calling to other one. And the question is, whom do you call? Okay, is right. Well we use it we use it with with prepositions in most of the cases so in this case we're gonna change the verb because call call let me see let me see who do you let me see this one this one who do you chat with mm -hmm. who do you chat with and in these cases we can use whom perfectly with whom with whom do you chat? With whom do you chat? You may ask me which one is correct, teacher. Both are correct. Okay. Listen to this. Who is informal? Whom or whom is formal? Whom? Whom is formal? So I can say, I can say, with whom do you chat? Okay. okay, in this case, you can you can say, uh, who do you live with? Who do you play with? Who do you start with? Who do you <laughs> something with? Mm -hmm. Everything. But no, you, you can mention more. Look. Okay, who, who do you? Who are you? Uh -huh, right. About who are you talking about? 
The same thing about. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah, de quién? Who are you talking about? About no. whom are you talking about? The no, first about one is, the first one, the first one, who are you talking about? Sobre quién estás hablando? O acerca de quién estás hablando? Mm -hmm. the, the next one is the same thing. Acerca de quién estás hablando? The same, no difference. The, the second. The difference is the structure. Mm -hmm. The second about is. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it is true. Yeah. My, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> It's, we are human. We make mistakes. That one, that one. That's how it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's and how, then that's how it goes. Both sentences, both questions are correct. The question okay. with who is incorrect? I mean, informal, informal, informal. Is informal. And about whom? The question with whom is formal? Yes, it's very formal. You can use whatever you want or whichever one you want. You can say, who are you talking about or with whom are you talking? Mm -hmm. Let me give you another. This, this, you can use this with prepositions. Who have you lied to? Look, who have you lied to? A quien le ha mentido? A quien le has mentido? Yes. We can use it with whom too. Yes. Okay, to whom have you lied? To whom have you lied? Yes. So basically, who and whom are the same. The difference is the structure and the formality. All right? Yes. Yes, I want to take a picture. Okay, uh, enough. And the, and the end. But this okay. is the... This is the easy part. This is the easy part. Okay, give there's, me the hard there's part. A, there's a complicated part in which, in which we use who and whom to connect two sentences, and that part is a little difficult. Yes. Okay, it could be you are the teacher, mm -hmm. you are the teacher whom, whom I know. You are the teacher with who with with whom i learn english right okay let me write that down you are <laughs> what happened you are the teacher who i learn with who i learn english with right mm -hmm. this is this the the, the question the informal this is the, the, the statement, not the question. I said question. This yes. is the statement, but in these cases, it's informal. It doesn't mean it is bad. It is good. It is good. But it is considered as informal, OK? Mm -hmm. Or you can write a sentence with, with whom? You are the teacher. With, with whom? Uh -huh, with, with whom I learn I English. Learn English. Mm -hmm. And this one is the complicated part for many people, okay? But for you, it's easy, I see. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, that's how it goes. Both are correct. But let me tell you something else, important too. The, structure, the question with whom is not very common. It's not very common. Mm -hmm. Honestly and personally, I don't I don't use it. I never use it. Yes. No. Okay. You understand that part? Yes, I understood. Okay. Who's now? Who's? Who's? Expresses possession relationship. Then ownership. And not ownership. Okay, <laughs> who expresses three things? Lose plus now. Yes. Last now. Cuando, let me tell you this in Spanish. Cuando usamos who's, 
Después de whose, tenemos que usar un, un sustantivo. Animal, uh -huh. persona, lugar o cosa. Okay. One example. Whose. Porque siento que me ha quedado. No, give me one. You give me one. You give me one. A question with whose. Who's the dog is? Okay. Who's the dog is? Okay. How do you say this in Spanish? The king is el perro. Okay, okay. But that is not that is not a correct uh, question order. Okay, tell me. We have to use whose plus the animal. The animal directly the animal. Whose dog? Okay. Whose dog is it? Or whose dog is this? Okay. Ah. Whose dog is this? Or whose uh -huh. whose whiteboard is this? Uh -huh. Whose whose shoes is this? Whose sister is whose sister is crying? Okay. Mm. Whose sister is crying. Who's, who's, whose laptop is broken? Right? Entonces, usamos el whose después. Perdón, usamos un objeto después de, 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 de whose. Objeto, animal, lugar o persona. The structure could be whose plus noun plus verb plus the adjective, right? You can even use a, a subject here. Like who's doc, no, who's doctor, who's, uh, yeah, who's dog are you? Look, are you going to buy? El perro de quien comprarás, right? Uh -huh. oh, más popular, de quien es el perro que vas a comprar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me one, give me one. Okay, whose uh, whose picture whose picture is that? Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Whose picture is that? Yes. Whose picture yeah. is that? We can, use, we can use more more structures. Whose picture? Take. Clear. Mm -hmm. Whose picture needs cleaning? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, whose cars need maintenance? Maintenance. Uh huh. Maintenance. Car? You say whose cars? Whose cars? Plural. You can say singular or plural. Okay. Singular mm -hmm. or plural? Car, uh, singular. Okay, whose car needs maintenance or whose cars need maintenance? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cars and for their singular person is right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is difficult. It's difficult. We only no. we also. For, for formality, for formality, we can use what, we can use uh, which as well. I mean, which, about which, or which, about what, of what, etc. About. It was the same WH question. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's just a way polite, right? Mm -hmm. It's very polite. This is very polite. Like with whom is very polite, mm -hmm. but like I told uh -huh. you, we 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 don't, don't normally use this. Yes, I uh, I get it. I get it. Okay, just I have curiosity, and for that, uh, and some some question mm -hmm. with. Uh, some take some question some statement that finish in a preposition mm -hmm. some like that you that you touch tough me tough tough me 
Okay. Uh, right. Okay, a teacher is it's late. Okay. You have to you have to rest and make uh, and work make, and sleep. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's, yes. okay. It's, it's a pleasure. You know, it's always a pleasure. Hey, really, oh. really, thank you, thank you whenever for your you time, have, teacher. Yes. Whenever you have questions, you, you let me know. Okay. Yes. I'm here, yes. I'm here to help you. I really appreciate it. Thank yes. you. Don't worry. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, have a good have a good night. Thank you very much. You too. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>